In this video, I'm going to show you this really dynamic text effect that you can create inside of Adobe After Effects. This looks really good, but it's actually quite simple. So let's get into it. So as with any text-based tutorial, we need to start by creating some text. So we'll go to the horizontal type tool, select anywhere in the video and type in a word or phrase of your choice. Now I've typed in Brooker and I'm just going to make sure that this is center aligned using the paragraph window. And then if I turn on the proportional grid, I'll make sure this is sitting in the center. And of course, I obviously need to adjust my anchor point as well. So we've got our text now sitting in the very middle of After Effects. And if you wanted to change anything here, then you can. You can change the font, the weight, the size, all of these other settings. So from this point, we can copy this text there. So we'll go Command C, Command V and V. Now that is on Mac. If you're on Windows, that is going to be Control C, Control V. Then we'll go to the bottom layer. We'll press P on the keyboard and pull the position down. So somewhere around there works. Then we'll go to the one on top. So number three, we'll press P and move that up again. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually change the look of these text layers. So on Brooker three, we'll go into the character window and we'll remove the fill. So select that box here. Then we'll select the small one underneath it to remove the fill. Then we'll go to the stroke and we're just going to pull that stroke width down. So we'll pull that down to around seven or eight, maybe a pinch lower. So number five, there we go. Then we'll go to the one on the bottom and we'll do the same thing again. So we'll remove the fill, keep the stroke, and then we'll pull that down to five as well. So you can see we've got stroke text, fill text, and then stroke text again. Now from here, I'm just gonna make some more copies. So we'll go Brooker three, we'll copy and paste. We'll move the position up again. And we'll make one more copy of that one as well. Move that up. So that should be towards the top of the frame. Great, and then I'm just gonna delete that one on the bottom and I'm just gonna copy the top three, copy and paste. We'll move the position down and that should be resting on the bottom of the composition like this. Great, so from here, we're just going to highlight all of those layers, right click and select pre-compose. Now we'll go into effects and presets and we will search for motion tile. Drop that onto the pre-comp and if we change, output height to a higher number. So let's go for 200. Then if we press P on the keyboard to load position, we can pull the position down. And as you can see, that's just going to keep looping. So we can pull that all the way up, press P on the keyboard, creates a brand new keyframe on the position, move over four or five seconds, pull that down. And as you can see, that is just going to keep going and going. So when we play this back, this is how this looks. Now you'll notice if I pull this all the way down, eventually it will cut off. And that is because the output height is only 200. So it's essentially doubling the composition. But if we pull that all the way up to 300, you can see it's just gonna keep going and you can essentially just keep this going and going. So if I set the output height to 1000 and then I pull the position all the way up to a really high number, so let's go. So let's go for around 10,000. You can see there's a lot of text there that it can just keep scrolling through. Obviously you wouldn't have your video that fast, but it's very useful to know. So to summarize, you want to make some text inside of Adobe After Effects, then you want to repeat it a few times so that it touches the end of the composition. Then we'll pre-compose everything, chuck motion tile on, we'll change the output height to a higher number, and then you can create a scrolling animation using the position keyframes. And that will give you this really cool scrolling text effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please consider subscribing or watching that video. Thank you for watching.